Hi, this is Mike Dore. Welcome to the short video regarding the 90-day warranties. The first thing that we're going to do is log into your Recall Check account. Once you log into your account, the default page will have your services, the list of products that you're available to offer. If you do not see the limited warranties on your page here, please notify our office and we can turn this service onto your account. However you're submitting your client's information, whether it's through RecallCheck.com, through any of our integrations, through the Recall Check phone app, all these services would be submitted at the same time. So if you're coming in here, it's very easy to add in a client by filling out the form down below. Once you submit the client, however you're doing that, the 90-day warranty has been submitted for your client. Very, very easy. Under the Resource tab, we need to go in and download the 90-day warranty to provide to our clients. So once we do this, we open up the 90-day limited warranty section and we can easily come in here and look at the standard or the custom policy. Now, just so you know, they're both the same policy, it just has a different cover page. The standard's gonna have a lot of color and a, and a picture on it. Uh, the custom policy will actually have your logo on the front cover. I'm a firm believer in branding and marketing and things like that. If it was me, I would be using the custom policy and I would easily download this. Before we open the policy, I wanna point out that there is a 90-day warranty button that you can add onto your website by easily copying and pasting the HTML code below this button into your website which would make this warranty button appear and being able to access the warranty directly from your website. There's also a consumer flyer over here which you can download to use to email out any potential clients or talk to agents about it as well. So let's actually open up the custom policy. In fact, I'm going to click on the 90-day warranty button as if it was on my website right now. Once you open this up, you'll see your logo will be on the front cover. If you do not see your logo on here, you would need to go under the Manage Account tab and add your company logo to your account. Once your logo is on your account, you will see it added here. We intentionally leave off your contact information, unlike the other marketing flyers, because when an issue arises, we want your client, the home buyer, to call us and not you. This might not be the same case for everybody because some, something could happen with the property, they know they have the warranty, and they just pick up their cell phone and they still have you saved in there and they call you. If you ever get that phone call, you know, tell them just to give us a call. Have you contacted the warranty company at Marianne? Oh, you haven't? Okay. Make sure you contact the warranty company. Let them know exactly what you told me and they'll walk you through the process. So once they, they have this warranty and you submit them, it's up to you to provide the clients to them. I'm sorry, to provide the warranty to your client. The second page is the actual warranty coverage. First off, this is a zero dollar deductible policy. It covers the mechanical issues, uh, the mechanical coverage and the structural coverage. And once you, you read through this policy, you'll know what's covered. And a few things that I do wanna point out to you is first off, if it's listed under the mechanical and the structural coverage, it is covered. If it's not listed, it's not covered. Good examples of that would be like a driveway, uh, siding, windows, sprinkler systems, um, pools, spas, things like that that are not listed, um, that are not in most typical homes, would not be covered. This only is mechanical and structural coverage. There is two exceptions to the warranty. Just like anything else, there's always exceptions, but these ones actually do make sense. The first exception is, if it is something that's covered under the warranty, but it's inspected and it's not working at the inspection, that's gonna go into the inspection report and that would be something that would not be covered because it's pre-existing. Pre so if you call out that furnace because it's not working, we're not gonna cover that. That's why they paid you to have the inspection in the first place, which hopefully makes sense. The second exception, if it is an appliance, there is an age limit of 10 years old. So if you look under the policy, over 10 years old, there is an age limit. We're not gonna cover 30 year old air conditioning units, furnaces, dishwashers, microwaves, and things like that. There is an age limit on the policy that we want you to be aware of. Now that 10 year age limit is only for the appliances. It's not for any of the plumbing coverage, except for the water heater. It's not for any of the electrical coverage or any of the structural coverage at all either. It's just the main um, kitchen appliances, the climate control systems, and the fixtures age 10 and older that is not covered. Also in the policy, another thing that we get asked a lot is how long is the actual policy? What if my client doesn't close on the home within 90 days? Well, all claims must be submitted 
I'm going to kind of point this out to you where I'm reading. All claims must be received within 90 days of the inspection or 22 days from closing, whichever comes later. If your client closes on the home, let's just say on the 100th day, and the policy expired after that, this wouldn't be any good to them. So they have actually 22 days from their closing date or whatever the later of the two is. So if your client closes 78 or 79 days after the inspection takes place, the 22 days would become the longer of the two. So if your client doesn't close on the home for, let's just say six months, this policy actually turns into a six month and 22 day policy. Down below that is the claims procedures that anybody can submit a claim to us and they can do this by fax, by mail, by email. All of our information is submitted down below that. And if we read through the claims procedures, it's very easy to submit a claim by fax, by mail, or by email. They would just put in their contact information here, their name, their inspector's name, their full property address, their phone number where they can be reached, and kind of a description of the claim in their own words. The second thing that they would do is attach in an estimate for whatever the issue is. So if their dishwasher is going wrong, they get an estimate from whoever they want, and they give that estimate to us along with number three, a copy of the home inspection report. And that's what we go off of. We make sure that it was working at the inspection, that it was inspected at the inspection. Because again, if you called out that dishwasher that was leaking at the inspection, and they're making a claim on a leaking dishwasher, well, they need to disclose that to the seller. That's not something that would be covered. That's why they paid you for the inspection in the first place. But if you inspected the dishwasher and there's no notes on there, something just, you know, it was there, no notes at all, that means that it was working, there was no leak, third night in, the leak starts happening, this is something that would be covered as long as the appliance is not older than 10 years old. So they would make that claim to us and then number four is where we get back to the clients within 72 business hours and let them know the status of the claim. So that is the warranty. If you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to give us a call at our office, 800-544-8156, and ask for Tim, Brandon, or myself, or anybody else um, that you have some few questions over the warranty or would like to start offering that, we'd be happy to get that set up on your account.